Hello and welcome back. This is Stevie Box Coins. I hope you've had a very happy Christmas and that you are replete and relaxed. I have two coins from Pop Joy to show you. The first one is let me just come out a little bit. Oops, going the wrong way. He's in the wrong way there, Steve. <laughs> This is a new coin from Popjoy. It's the new, the latest boat in their series. This is the 190th arrival, anniversary of the arrival in Antarctica. It's uh, the coin represents HMS Terra. If you look on the back, there's a Cupid Island finish, 18 grams. The size of 27.3 and the issue is 2750. The issue in place is the British Antarctic Territories. It is something that a lot of coin collectors enjoy. It's a boat on a coin. It's HMS Terror. It is a sail ship that 200 years ago arrived in Antarctica. Or, well, sorry, 180 years ago arrived in Antarctica. The coin itself shows a, sail, a, a, a boat under sail on a calm, on what seems to be a calm sea. It has the name of the boat, HMS Terror, on the bottom and 50p on the left hand side of the coin as you're looking at it in the upper quadrant. Very nice coin. It's one of the series of sailboats coins that have been produced by Pubjoy over the past few months and released by them from the British Antarctic Territories, British Ocean Territories and all those sorts of things. But yes, I saw it on, on their line and thought, yeah, I could. Uh, I want to add that one to my series. I think I'm missing one. I think I'm missing the Cutty Sark. I missed that one when it came out. The second one, we've been hearing for a while now, as coin collectors, that the £1 coin that we have been using for quite a while is going to be feeding out to territories, dependencies, and other, other places are going to take on a multi-sided, 12-sided coin. This is the first of them. It's called Climate Change. It's British Overseas Territories have issued it. And it shows a iceberg adrift in the ocean. It's the world's first new £1 coin issued on behalf of the British Overseas Territory. It's bimetallic, as our coins are, and it's been limited to 2750 in this format, which is exactly the same as the 50p HMS Terra one. The, this will be available in other formats, obviously, and I think it will be released um, be a, a release coin as well so it, be, it might be a, might well be a circulated coin that we may get to see in the future again because it's a first I got myself one yeah the next one that we got I'm going to jump about a bit here. This is actually from Holland. I bought this from the Netherlands Mint or the Dutch Mint. And it's a five euro coin and it commemorates um, the building in the background there is actually one of the pumping stations that keep the dikes and such like and stops uh, Holland being flooded. It's a pumping station. Uh, and they a coin celebrating some, uh, I think it's 70 years, or is it 70 years? Sorry, 100 years 
of these pumping stations being used by the Dutch to stop the country being flooded. There were four or five different versions of this coin. There's this one that you could buy for five euros. There was a BU version of this one. This I think is just uncirculated rather than brilliantly uncirculated. The BU version I think was 12 euros 50. This I got at face value for five euros. And then there was the silver and the gold version of it. You can still get hold of this coin, I believe. It was issued last year in 20, well, this year in 2020. Only run this year. I found this when I went on to find, uh, to look for the the uh, 75th anniversary one of D-Day. The 75th, they called it the 75th year, 75th anniversary of freedom. I was unable to get that coin, but found this one, so I bought this one at the time. The last one in this review is another pub joy coin. A few weeks ago, it was announced that there was a £2 Florence Nightingale coin. I went onto the site and it was sold out. However, there's been a 50p version celebrating the, 200, the 200th anniversary of Florence Nightingale. Of her birth, the 200th anniversary of her birth. It's got the value of 50p. It's got a picture of Florence Nightingale, one of the earlier pictures of Florence Nightingale um, when she was at uh, her height as a nurse. Oh, excuse me. This is issued by the Indian Ocean Territories, the British Indian Ocean Territory. Like all the Pop Joy card coins that, like this, it's been issued to a maximum of 2,750 of this particular version. There may well be other different versions that are also BU and on a slightly different um, packaging. It's very similar portrait to the one that's on the £2 coin from, my, from what I remember of the £2 coin. I didn't. I wasn't able to actually get that coin. Uh, it's, it was sold out. So this one, when it became available, I snapped up, snapped it up. The three of them, very different coins. Each is special for their own reasons. Florence Nightingale is important because it's 200 years of her birth, celebrating 200 years of her birth. The climate change is important coin because it's the first of the territories slash dependency coins to actually use the 12 sided one pound coin. HMS T Terror continues the series of sailboats on coins from the territories and dependencies. And the Dutch coin that celebrates 100 years, it is 100 years, isn't it? It's 100 or 200 years. 100 years of a pumping station that keeps their feet dry, helps keep their feet dry. All of these coins are important in their own right and I'm very happy to have them in my collection. This was a disparate coin review because there's four very different coins that I was showing you. Which one of the four did you like? Put it down in the comments below. Do you agree or disagree with what I've said about the coins? Discuss it with me. If you enjoyed this video, please give me the thumbs up because it will greatly help my channel. And I would be absolutely delighted if you would subscribe and come back and join me during one of my next reviews or hunts. This is the last of the series of the Christmas ones. I look forward very much to bringing you 
new stuff stuff in the new year I will probably release at least one more perhaps two more before the new year different uh, different uh, videos in the meantime if I don't see you before the new year or you don't visit one of my videos before the new year I hope you have a very happy and enjoyable new year and I hope you enjoy your coin collecting in 2021 in the meantime from me, ta for now.